Bonsoir tout le monde, good evening everybody. Ça fait tellement plaisir de voir tellement de nos amis, de nos supporters ici pour le lancement de notre bureau de campagne. It's such a pleasure to be able to see so many friends, uh, so many supporters uh, from the entire borough here to support us. Uh, I'm going to mention a few people just because I think it's so important to show the diversity of the people that are here and how we have a strong support. First of all, I'd like to support and recognize Mrs. Marlene Jennings, former MP. She's a true friend, colleague. Uh, obviously, we have one of her, uh, I can say, protégés in Gabrielle Reda, who, who was her long-serving political attaché, who's running for us in NDG, and who's going to be coming here with us. My colleague and my friend, Mr. Russell Copeman, here from the Borough Mayor. <laughs> uh, Tiffany Callender, Jay uh, Buddy. <laughs> We also have a lot of different uh, leaders from different communities. Uh, it, it's, it's important to mention, we have first of all, uh, Cora Aberin, the immediate past president of FAMAS. Thank you, Cora. Uh, FAMAS is the largest um, umbrella organization for the Filipino community here in, in our borough, as well as throughout the island. We also have other members. We have uh, Felix de Luna from the Knights of Rizal. Thank you, Felix. Together with... Uh, Jerry Danzel, thank you, Jerry. Uh, we have also members from the uh, Al Hilbat Mosque. Uh, we have Mr. Salam Al Masawi and Mr. Uh, Moyed Al Tibi. Thank you for being here. Uh, we also have Mr. Akter from the Al Baturam uh, Mosque. Uh, yeah. Is here? Okay. And we have a lot representatives. Thank you for being here. Uh, we also have. We have uh, Mr. Avner Uziel, who's representing the President of Teferit Israel. Thank you, Avner, for being here. We have uh, Joshua Wolf here on behalf of Sija. Thank you, Josh, for being here. We have Ed Kubaz, which is here on behalf of the Federation of the Filipino Canada Association. Thank you, Ed. Thank you for being here. Did I see War is Worley here? Is it Worley? Hey, Worley from UPS, from United Filipino Seniors. Thank you, Worley. And the entire gang. Um, we have many, many more people. I hope I didn't leave anybody out, but if so, I know Russell will be able to uh, pick up the, uh, the slack. Alors, merci d'être là. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. We don't want to forget our nurses. Never. Dude. Thank you, thank you so much. And we have here Gabriel Reda, who just made his entrance. Thank you, Gabriel. Uh, oh, the Phil Can Chess Club? Who? Where? Uh, James Dillard. James Where? Oh, okay. <laughs> and we have, of course, James de La Paz, who is here, a known figure in the community. Thank you, James. And Rose, for being here. We have Emilia, Filipino star, who is here. In other words, we have got all segments. On a vraiment des représentants de toutes les différentes communautés de Côte de Neige, ce qui fait notre force. It's really our strength that we have in our diversity, in the way we're able to get along. We're able to strive to improve the lot of our collective communities to make Montreal and Côte de Neige and DG the best place. We have an incredible team. The team for Equipe Denis Coderre, Denis Coderre, Russell Coleman team is a phenomenal team. We have, first of all, a dean of the Filipino community, Mr. Salvador Buddy Cabagua, someone who is a... An, a Cabagao. 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 I'm nervous, I'm sorry. He gets it right most of the time. I don't yeah, know I don't know, it's most time I got it wrong. I've never heard that before. It's Buddy. Buddy Cabagao, he knows. Cabagao. He's nervous. <laughs> Just nervous. Who is a dean, who is a former honorary um, Consul General of the Philippines here in Montreal, who is an established uh, accountant with a long history of profession, and someone who knows about the needs of the community, someone who's decided to take the challenge, and you, I really admire for you taking the challenge, but it's a pleasure to have you here. Yeah. Yeah. Next we have Tiff 
Tiffany. Tiffany, I've had a chance to work a little bit. Merci beaucoup. I have had a chance to work a, a little bit uh, with over the years. Uh, and when uh, Russell and I were talking and when he suggested Tiffany, I said, absolutely. It's a home run. It's someone who understands community matters. Someone who understands the needs of all communities. The one who can collaborate. The one who can set up partnerships. The someone who can speak with eloquence on any number of policy issues. It's a pleasure to have you. I look forward to being colleagues on City Council. Yeah. On a eu la chance de travailler ensemble, différents projets, notamment en Cinema NDG. Euh, un plaisir de pouvoir vraiment te connaître, travailler ensemble du même côté, bien qu'on n'était pas d'un côté opposé, mais vraiment en, de façon plus étroite, euh, avec ton réseau, avec ton connaissance de la culture. Euh, C'est incroyable, tu ajoutes une dimension, tu complémentes vraiment notre équipe. Merci d'être là, Hélène. J'ai eu la chance de travailler avec Gabriel pendant 4 ans. On a fait campagne la dernière fois, ça n'a pas fonctionné comme on voulait, tout à fait, et mais on a eu la chance de travailler. Et en Gabriel, je connais quelqu'un qui est méticuleux, rigoureux, qui est dévoué à son élu, à son équipe, et qui, je puis dire, n'est pas seulement un collègue, mais un vrai ami avec qui on a eu la chance de s'appeler. Merci Gabriel I can't wait for Gabriel to be elected in a loyal district so that the residents of Loyola have real representation. Let's go, Gabriel! And last but not least, my friend and colleague, Russell, um, someone who we had dealt with for many years as, uh, as uh, from Concordia, uh, we had known each other from circles, uh, last election, we weren't on the same team, but we were still very cordial. We spoke from time to time. That was a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It you, was a mistake. Well, finally, you saw the light <laughs> and you came to the right side. You know, j'ai entendu quelqu'un il a tuté seulement les, les imbéciles la net, ne, ne change pas d'idée. Hein? Alors voilà. Alors, on a eu la chance de travailler ensemble. Au début, on n'était pas la même formation. Mais je peux dire qu'on a eu vraiment euh, une collaboration fine. Euh, immédiatement, je pense qu'on était plus euh, loyaux envers un qu'envers l'autre que peut-être à travers certaines d'autres personnes, d'autres formations politiques. Et c'est un plaisir d'avoir partagé. Nos bureaux sont juste à côté, à l'hôtel de ville, euh, d'échanger, de travailler ensemble, de s'entraider. Et puis vraiment, je suis fier d'être à tes côtés pour que tu sois maire de l'arrondissement à notre 4 ans. Merci. Il y a une question qu'il faut poser. There's one question that people have to ask before they vote. Are we better off now than we were four years ago? Yeah! Est-ce qu'on est dans une meilleure situation maintenant qu'on a été ça fait quatre ans? La réponse est oui. Ça fait quatre ans, Montréal avait vraiment été dans un état critique. On connaît tout ce qui est arrivé. Il y avait un maire démissionnaire, un maire qui a été arrêté. Il y avait un manque de foi, un manque de passion auprès, par les Montréalais dans leurs institutions municipales. And we have here Mr. Coder who came and he changed things. He ensured that we had faith again in our institutions and our elected officials. He brought what was probably the most important piece of legislature for Montreal then, which was the coming of the institution of the Inspector General. Someone with overreaching powers to be able to cancel contracts, to be able to investigate, and we have now a stable, strong municipal government, thanks to Mr. Coder. <laughs> but we also have to look, where are we now? We have the lowest, lowest rate of unemployment in Montreal in over 40 years. percent unemployment rate. We had 1.5 billion dollars 
of foreign investment in Montreal, a record year, $1.5 billion of record in investment. That's because we have a strong, stable municipal government. We have a strong, stable mayor. We have someone who was able to go out to the world and say, Montreal is back on the map. We have someone who took economic missions to China, who went to Israel, who went to Washington, who went to wherever need be to say, hey, Montreal is back. We are much better off now than we were four years ago. And let me tell you, it's only the beginning. We have seen in the last year an incredible, incredible announcements of foreign companies wanting to invest in Montreal. We have Google who set up a lab for artificial intelligence. We have, we have um, uh, also uh, Intel that put it. We have recently Facebook did it. They see the assets that we have in Montreal. They see the human capital. We have the second highest rate of university students anywhere in North America after Boston. 170,000 full-time university students. But beyond economics, we also have another $50 million a year that's going to be coming from Montreal, from the Quebec government, for our, our own economic development. The mayor negotiated this as part of the status of Montreal. We're no longer going to need to come to Quebec City to ask for money. We're going to have our own pool to be able to invest for our priorities. I'm going to let Russell speak about all the impact on housing that the st status of Montreal is going to bring because he's the one who spearheaded that file. He's the one who led the negotiations and that is going to be revolutionary for Montreal thanks to Russell and the mayor. But beyond, if beyond economic development, à part les investissements et le développement économique, il y a d'autres choses sur le maire, sur quoi le maire s'est attardé. Et le maire s'est attardé pour avoir un ensemble, un endroit où on peut vivre qui on est. On peut être qui on est, peu importe nos origines, peu importe notre ethnicité, peu importe notre langue, peu importe nos religions, peu importe n'importe quelle différence, ce qui nous réunit est plus fort. Et il a fait avec la déclaration du vivre ensemble. C'est le maire qui a amené plus de 25 maires du monde entier. He brought over 25 mayors to say living together is important. What, com what keeps us together is much stronger than what makes up our differences. And thanks to the mayor, we have done that. We also have seen, because of the mayor, a hate crime and incident unit as part of the police department. Because unfortunately, there are hate crimes. There are hate incidents. And we don't want to put our head in the sand. So he put a specialized unit. He's the one who did it thanks to, in large part, to a request from the Jewish community, among others, at an um, anti-Semitism forum that was represented by Federation, by B'nai B'rith, as well as Sija. And thanks to that, it developed into the hate crime unit. So we have a lot of opportunities. I'm going to finish off, because I know I spoke a little bit longer than I was supposed to, on two things. Number one, infrastructure. I know people say there's a lot of cones out there. I know as the person responsible in the executive committee for infrastructure, I've heard a few things over the last four years. But I want to say that it's the responsible decision. The irresponsible decision what was, would have been to let the status quo continue. We had to improve. It's when you have a roof that is leaking and you can patch it up and you can patch it up, it comes to a point where you can't patch it up anymore. You have to do it, and it hurts, but we're starting to see the results. Thanks to, to the pushing of Russell, and thanks to the money that I was able to bring from City Council, we'll have done almost 40% of all roads in Cote d'Ange and NDG in four years. 40%! And when we do that, well, we improve the quality of life, there's less noise, and we're able to eventually take some of those other spending and spend it on other priorities. The other thing is that people have to understand is, we've heard a lot about the 375th. 
you know, how we're supposedly having a billion dollar bash, you know, that we're wasting money. Those are the things that we've heard. Well, let me tell you, from somebody who knows, who's looked at the numbers, it's not true. This is just people go ahead saying things just to be in the news. The fact is, we had to invest several hundred millions of dollars over the last couple of years to in fact bring up to standard our infrastructures. Now the question that I have for you, once you're fixing things underground, shouldn't you improve the things on top? Shouldn't you make things more uh, um, uh, uh, enticing? Shouldn't you make things prettier and more willing for people to see it? And that's what we did. We invested in the future of Montreal. Oh. More than anything else, after four years, we can look back and we can collectively say, we are proud again to be Montrealers. Nous sommes fiers d'être Montréalais. On va avoir besoin de vous. We will need you. It's going to be a tough campaign. No campaign is easy. Aucune campagne n'est facile. On va avoir besoin de vous comme volontaire. On va avoir besoin de vous pour des téléphones. On va avoir besoin de vous pour le porte à porte. We're going to need you for door to door. We're going to need you for phone. We're going to, first of all, thank all our volunteers who put up all our signs in record time. Thank you to the team that Michael is out. Thank you all, everybody who's helped. And that is what we're going to do. And if we have your support and we get the vote out, there is no doubt that the next borough council of Côte d'Anish NDG will be one of Équipe de Nez Coderre. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Yeah.